I want you both to put your finger on the big red button. Three. It's just to say that it's so important, community radio, and it's becoming more important. And I, from experience, now know it's like a welcome voice that you listen to. She talks to the listeners uh, personally, you know, when we have quizzes and what have you, and some of them are living on their own and they say, you know, we switch this radio on in the morning and we never switch it off till we go to bed, you know. And it's quite, you know, quite common everywhere around Oldham. Oh! Oh, shut up! Oh, shut up, you noisy rabble! Goodness me! <laughs> Good afternoon! Welcome to Tommy Field Live, and not just any old Tommy Field Live. Oh, no. You'll maybe notice, if you're watching us on Mixcloud, uh, that uh, a chair is empty. That's because it's open to anybody this afternoon. Uh, it's uh, lovely to be here. It's Ian Wilson home here with you just after midday on this Saturday uh, for the launch of our annual Radiothon event, our 2024 Radiothon. Who'd have believed it that way back in 2007, we would have thought that we would have still been here all these years. I can't do sums, but anyway, here we are in 2024, uh, and it's time to, uh, well, once again, shake the old tin, as I often call it, begging on wireless. But it's not really that. It's, um, it's where community radio uh, is uh, open, to, open to offers, if you like. We kindly ask all our listeners if they can spare a few groats to, to do so, to keep the station afloat. Uh, we are entirely self-funding, of course. We don't get any money from any licence fees or anything like that. Um, so we do rely on our listener support and generosity. It's actually a model that's very, very common over in, uh, in Europe, where community radio itself is funded entirely by the people who listen and enjoy the programme. So that's the plan today to, to launch it. Now, we, we could get a celebrity, we, we could get a local politician or, a, or a, I don't know, anybody really, um, but we thought we'd just be a bit more spontaneous today. We've, well, we're going to go out into the market hall. If this works, it'll be a miracle. So we've got the wandering microphone um, and uh, we're just going to have a quick, quick wander now we're looking, ideally, where, where am I looking? Now Clarence is digging me in my elbows and saying, over there, there where, there. Oh, up there. Oh, well, I can't see anybody, I can't, I can't, yeah, <laughs> that lady is not about six years old at all. <laughs> so I, I'm not being too disingenuous, but we've got these two young people over here. Let's go and have a look. I wonder, could you, and your, are these your, your kids? Yeah, could you pop in? just inside here and press a big red button for us to launch our 2024 Radiothon appeal. Oh, Would you like to do that? What's your name, sir? Wisdom. Wisdom. And what are your children called? He's called she's called Praise and he's called Bethel. Give these young people a big round of applause, everybody. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a very, very important job to do. Hang on, let's have a look at this. What's this shirt say under here? Stand it. Is that Liverpool? Are you a Liverpool fan, young man? No. Yeah, and, what, and how old are you? Eight. Eight. And which school do you go to? St Teresa's. St Teresa's. And do you go to St Teresa's too? Yes. Yeah, do you enjoy school? Yes. We have on here, on my phone, do you see that there? Do you see that there? Do you see that there, Phil? We're yeah. going to show that to the camera. Because this is my big red button. All right, I'm going to move that there. Don't touch it for now, because when you press that big red button in a minute, okay, you will start lots and lots of money come flooding into Oldham Community Radio to help us keep on air. And I'm going to start the bidding, okay, I'm going to start with the money coming in with this. One pound, one shiny pound there. That's all it takes, I'm going to put it there. We might even have another shiny pound if we're really, really lucky. If I played my cards, I'm digging around in my pocket now. Yes, there we go. Got another pocket. No, that, hey, did, don't you start talking about moths. So, on the count of three, I'll bring it down there, shall I, so you can do it, it's easy. On the count of three, I want you both to put your finger on the big red button. Are you ready? 
One, two, three. Yes, brilliant. This week is Oldham Community Radio's annual Radiothon. Like the more than 300 similar community radio stations around the UK, we're a not-for-profit organisation. So rely on our listeners and supporters to pay our running costs. Will you help to keep Oldham Community Radio on air by making a donation? Donations can be made in person by cash, card or cheque at our Tommy Field Indoor Market reception. Or online via oldhamcommunityradio.com We are Oldham Community Radio. Those two pound coins that I had, well, I could donate them to radio or to Oldham Community Radio, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to say thank you very much indeed, one for you and one for you, because you can buy yourself some sweets if you're allowed sweets, or put it in your piggy bank and start to save for a big holiday. How does that sound? Good idea? Thank you very much. Give, them, give these lovely young people, this lovely family, a great big round of applause. Uh, so, uh, I can't believe it. That was nice and straightforward, wasn't it? We've launched our 2024 Radiothon. Um, it's um, a special year for us. We're hoping that uh, people will be able to uh, dig as deep as they can do in these very difficult times. Everybody's after a slice of the cake, but as many listeners will know, this year will likely be our final year here in the Tommyfield Indoor Market because come this time next year, it won't be here. It will be pretty much being bulldozed, if not already flattened, uh, and we'll be hopefully moving into new premises. That doesn't come cheap. Uh, yes, we can make it as cost-effective as we possibly can, given that we don't receive any public funding uh, and rely, as we said right at the start of the programme, on the, the good wishes and the, the generosity of the listeners who enjoy what we do here on Oldham Community Radio. Um, I've got my tin box, if you're watching on Mixcloud, the donations are here. Literally, it doesn't matter if you've got a couple of pence, a couple of quid, Whatever it might be, every little helps, as one famous supermarket used to say. We also now are equally aware that not everybody carries cash. Goodness me, I'm, I'm amazed I managed to find a couple of quid in my pocket this morning because the present Mrs. Wolfsonome usually robs me piggy bank. So, uh, but anyway, I'm, uh, that, that was that, um, and Praise and, and his sister have gone away quite happy with the ill-gotten gains. But we've also got a card machine, one of those little tap-and-go things. So even if you've got your, your debit card or credit card, during the course of the next week, you can pop into Oldham Community Radio and come along and just tap the card uh, and um, make a donation of whatever you like. If you don't want to get out of the armchair, don't even do that. If you go on to our um, code that we've got for the Radiothon all this week, it's on our Facebook page, um, and you'll be able to just look at that, and it will take you direct to a PayPal Easy Pay uh, donation where there are different different suggested donations uh, or you can choose whatever you like so we've made it as easy as we can cash card check sell your sell your mother and father <laughs> on the street corner whatever you like to do oh my goodness me look at this how what who's this from this is from from posh kev posh kev look at this this is money pennies it's come flooding in already bless you thank you very much kev uh, that's very that, that that started us off in in fine fettle. <laughs> right, I'm going to put you to the test because you all think you, you might be good on your music. There's no question about that because Howard, the, the, what you what Howard doesn't know about music can probably be written on the back of a fag packet, as they used to say. But now, but now I want to put them to the test, dear listener. Tell me now four ways, four different ways, and there's only three of you. So you have a good chance of getting this. Of how you can make a donation all this week to Oldham Community Radio on our radio Right, week. well, you can just walk straight into our uh, office. Walk straight in. I'm writing that in. Walk straight in. Yeah. Wasn't there a song? 
walk, walk right, right back, back to me da, this minute. Da, da, da. Oh, I make a donation. Yeah. Da, da, da. Now, yeah. don't, please, you don't try to compete with Martin Byron, putting <laughs> put no, no, other no, words no to, to... So, the, so there's the first one. Right, now, that, right, you've had, in, in you've had person, yours. Yes. Yeah, so walking right in, right, Mason's very quiet. Does he know? Does he know? Online. Online? What? Yes. On the washing line, is that? Or no, no, that's on the <laughs> on the uh, interweb. Oh, on the oh, on the internet. Oh, yeah, right. the internet. Yes. Now, internet. Now, what's the website? That'll do. That'll do. Yes, you can do that. Yes, we've even got. And this is the one you won't get. A QR code. I still don't know what a QR code is. I was going to say, what well, is a QR code? It, well, it's like a funny little square thing with mm. black dots all over it. And, and you're supposed to scan it with your device, your mobile phone. Yeah. And it takes you straight to a to a PayPal page mm. that uh, that has... Lo- in fact, I've got it here. Look, yes. I'll show you. I've got to get my phone into my pocket. Just a minute now. Um, there's the big red button. Shall we do it again? Shall oh, we oh, have oh, 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 the big red button? Here we go. Oh, 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 that's loud. So, just in case you missed it the first time and we didn't give you heart failure. Right, so um, here we go. QR code. It's on our Facebook page now. If you go to our uh, Oldham Community Radio Facebook page, you, you should be able... It's not there. It's not there. But it's, oh. but, but there, the link is. The link is. Uh, now, the QR code, I'll show you what it looks like. This is always good for radio, isn't it? Uh, here you go, Howard. <laughs> just have a look at that. There we go. QR code. That's what it looks like. See? There. It's all zigzags. And there. Funny mm. That. Yeah. There you go. You can take a picture of it. Okay, I'm just taking a picture. It. There you go. That's what it looks like. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. So, so have you scanned that? Have you got your phone there, Howard? You can actually just scan that. It'll take you straight to it. Well, I'm doing video at the moment, oh. so I'm sorry. I'm not oh, going to... Oh, Mason's so. going to do it. Oh. We're, yeah. we're just going to make sure that the technology works. So, because we don't want any... <laughs> Any complaints? When I've tried to give you fifty quid, but I can't do it. <laughs> there we go. Mason's doing it now. There we go. Look at this. Yeah. Is yes. It, yeah. Is yes. It, and where does it go oh. to? It goes to PayPal.com. PayPal.com. And oh, what's there when you get there? What's the? I've missed that. There's, uh, <laughs> oh, has it gone off? Oh, there, we are. oh, there it is. It's back again. It's all live. Technology is a wonderful thing. It says, it says donate to Oldham Community Broadcasting Limited. That's us. That's us. Uh, support our annual Radio Fun fundraising campaign to help cover our day-to-day running costs. And uh, and Dave, Martin Byron, Dave Jones, Martin, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ian. But obviously you know as well as I do that Oldham Community Radio um, is entirely dependent on people um, being generous with whatever they can afford. Um, you run a business, so you'll know that the Towpath Bookshop, so you'll know as a benchmark, as a sort of a barometer, that people may be not in as great a position to have a bit of spare cash to give to whatever good cause. Um, is business hard like that? Are you, is yeah. that something you're finding? Oh yes, yes it is definitely. Harder than when we started in the 90s, there's no doubt about that. Probably with the advent of the internet and things like that. Um, yes, it's a lot harder. Yeah. Um, Footfall's, footfall is still there, but not always parting of the uh, no. parting of the money. And yeah. because we do joke about it, and you know, every every year has become difficult, particularly since the end of of COVID. Uh, Dave, you, I mean, you've you've done some volunteering as well, not just at community radio, but Radio Cavell and uh, and even Dr. Kershaw's at the Furniture Hub. So I guess you'll people how are they finding this kind of giving um, approach? Well, it's hard for them, especially in today's climate. But what I've got, I've got to say that since I retired, um, I've always been interested in music. And when I started volunteering for Older Community Radio, it's given me like a new lease of life. And it's important that people, if possible, to spare as much cash as they can. If it just even if it's pennies, you was you was in the studio before and you was rattling a box. And I remember I'd, it just brought back to me. Thought you were rattling on because I usually <laughs> no, do. That's me that I rattle on. I'm not usually. I don't like being this side of the microphone. Oh, I'm yeah. in there. But I, I have got a box of old coins. Not old coins, but you know, like a tin you've got in yeah. the studio. Yeah. And I thought, well, why have I not brought that? And which I will donate eventually. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. It, it's important to keep this radio station going. It really is. I think that's a very, very valuable point, Dave, about the fact that, you know, 
almost future-proofing uh, what people can do in the available time that they've got, whether it's in their later years or, or, or whatever with volunteering uh, to come along. Because it's not immediately, it doesn't sort of trip off the tongue if you've got a bit of time to think, do you know what, I'm just going to do some time, <laughs> I'll just do some time at Oldham Community Radio. It can be a prison sentence, but no, no, but, but you know, it, but it's very much, um, it is very much that we, we are almost right now the custodians or the guardians of the future of community radio. There's one young lady listening to this who will not come on the microphone. I do know that. <laughs> Bless her. Um, the the uh, the widow of our wonderful station manager, who <laughs> Jean Jean McGeeley is uh, is listening in, and she'll know very only too well that way back all those years ago, when community radio was was just a, a, a it wasn't even a, a reality. It took a lot of hard graft to get to, to that point to make something available for people who didn't have a lot of confidence or family or whatever it might be just to have a friend that they could turn the radio on back in those days. It was just on wireless um, and, and know that there was somebody that they could be a familiar sound, a familiar voice, I put it, put it like that. That's what I know appealed to you and Martin, isn't it, originally? Yes, it is, yeah. No, I mean, what I say, I've, um, like Dave said, music was the thing that got me going. Um, wanted to do my own specialist music programme. And, uh, in fact, I thought you said, do you want me to do a live jingle? I've got a new live jingle for... What, no, no yeah, on yeah. our Radiothon launch yeah, day? Yeah, Really? Yeah. You got. Do I need to find the reverb? No, you don't need to find No, we don't need reverb. It's not Sinatra. It's not at the Stardust Club, for goodness sake. I have to pretend I've got a keyboard in front of me, though. Can't do it any other way. I have to pretend I'm not on a keyboard. Right, here we go. Right, silence in the room. We'll do an introduction. We know there are a lot of great specialist music programmes on Old Community Radio, and this song is flags up some of them, I suppose, in the style of, well, hopefully. Georgie Fame. So here we go. On weekend evenings, when all my day's work is through, I don't watch telly like a lot of folk do. I tune in local to the place where it's at. I'm very vocal about the merits of that. Then up to supper, I let the evening pass by with groovy music. Why don't you give it a try? Just say a yeah. That's what I say. Just say a yeah. It starts on Monday. When I sit down to dine, the sound of folk plays While I'm pouring the wine Then with the missus, we give the neighbours a shock We're washing dishes to the sounds of pro rock That's when they ask me if everything is okay I got my answer, the only thing I can say I say yeah, yeah, that's what I say I say yeah, yeah We give a while, we hear rock melodies and give a wild dance show after Tuesday's tea. We gotta do that, we gotta do that, we gotta do that, we gotta do that. The best display of jumping, jiving all the world, well goodness me, yeah, 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 yeah. Brass man in Wednesdays, I wave the baton with skill, sounds country Thursdays, I whoop like Buffalo Bill, the Friday filter, well it's out on its own, a heady mixture of the renowned and unknown. When people ask me, do I enjoy what they play, my only answer, the only thing I can say, I say yeah, yeah. That's what I say, I say yeah. That's what I say, I say yeah, yeah. And then, oh, what about that? <laughs> My oh, God. How, how did you, not a scrap of paper in sight, Martin. Yeah, I, it's, been, it's been on the back burner for quite a while, but. It just, it, just, it just needs some orchestral accompaniment to it now. I've got a funny feeling that Graydon yeah. has got his hand in this somewhere. Well, he, well, he will probably will do at some stage. Uh, so, yes, so, yeah, so, yeah, great, great specialist music programmes on the community radio. Thank goodness I, you didn't get anything about the organ programme that's not there at the moment. I'm, glad, I'm so glad about that. That's all I can say. Anyway, no, no. That's you, you have to do the organ parts. You, you can do that, but you... That's absolutely amazing. You, but you see, that if that doesn't just prove a point, listeners, you know, the fact that people come along for various reasons to Oldham Community Radio and give of their time 
and talents like that. I mean, that's incredible. Uh, and you know, uh, them it. And and this week we're asking for just that little extra bit of money to keep things like that going because it's unique to Oldham. There's nothing quite like it in the town, is there, Dave? No, nothing whatsoever. Um, we do need your support. If you're listening to this or you're watching this on Mitch Cloud, please give as much as much as you can. Thank you to Kev for your donation before. That was amazing. Um, yeah, we're going, to have, we're going to have a word with Kev after, after a quick break, I think. Uh, for, oh, I, I've, I've lost my... I'm not, I'm not going to make script anymore. <laughs> no. That's gone out the window. Hey, Phil, play what we're going to do, and then we're going to be speaking to Posh Kev. This week is Oldham Community Radio's annual Radiothon. And, and for future reference, every Saturday, 12 till 1, we usually have a live guest on the radio theatre stage. We've had a lot of guests today. Thank you to Martin and Dave, uh, just before we heard that last track. Uh, and much to my surprise, but great delight, I'm, I'm sitting alongside me, is Jean, Jean McGill. Hiya, Jean. Hello. This is, a, this is a turn up for you. You don't usually do this malarkey, do you? No, <laughs> no, I don't usually go on the radio. because don't, don't look at it, you don't need to worry about that. I don't Talk like the sound of my voice, but... Oh. Um, just to say, I'm Jean McGeely, David McGeely's wife, because I hate the other word that you used. So do I, Jean. And it's just to say that it's so important, community radio, and it's becoming more important. And I, from experience, now know it's like a welcome voice that you listen to and it keeps you going sometimes. Well, lots of times. And it's always there. It's brilliant. So get your money out. <laughs> Bless you, Jean. Jean tells it as it is. I could, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that deserves a round of applause for Jean. That's, that's amazing. Um, yet we all know somebody who would have loved to have been here doing this and have done it far better than I ever could uh, to, to, to convince people to part with the hard-earned cash. So, very appropriately, this year, more than ever, if you can spare it, what, as Jean said, whatever it might be. Jean touched on it, and I want to come over to, to, to speak to, uh, to our good friend, Posh Kev. Hi, Kev. Hi, hi, everybody. He, he must be a multimillionaire, because he said, hey, I just started throwing tenors around, didn't he? Yeah, no, The old... bank of Kev. I love Oldham Community Radio, you know I do. I know so, you do, but we love you too, Kev. Uh, the wireless programme, and we've said it, Jean touched on it, you know, the fact that some people are at home, and to some people, the wireless programme that they look forward to between two and five every weekday is, is there because it's a friend, it's possibly the, first, the only voice that they hear um, from, from hour to hour, isn't it? It is, well, we proved that. I mean, look at old Margaret, she comes in. I shouldn't say old, really. But... <laughs> oh, oh, Margaret, if you're listening, sorry, 21 plus VAT. Look at our Margaret. I mean, uh, she talks to the listeners uh, personally, you know, when we have quizzes and what have you, and some of them are living on their own, and they say, you know, we switch this radio on in the morning, and we never switch it off till we go to bed, you know. And it's quite, you know, quite common everywhere around Oldham. You know, a lot of people who are ill and poorly, and it gives them much, much comfort. It, it, yeah, you're absolutely right, Kev. I mean, that's that's why we all we all do Oldham Community Radio as, as volunteers, uh, and it would be a, an awful. Well, it would be a, more than a travesty. I can't imagine life without it. Um, if the day came when we had to seriously look at the future operations, so have you got a message to people who might want to think about donating? Oh, definitely, yes. I mean, uh, most of our listeners do donate. I know that for a fact. Um, and the new listeners, you know, just get your, your hands in your pocket. doesn't matter what you want to give, just give something to Oldham Community Radio because uh, this will help all those lonely people out there and uh, keep them happy, you know, with all our music and our listeners and all our um, volunteers and everything. Yeah. I'm convinced, I know everybody here is convinced that the future is, is bright for the station. Thank you very much, Kev, for that. Um, but this week is an opportunity to prove that with the, the annual Radiothon, which we launched so wonderfully at the start. From Ian Wilson Home, have a great day, keep well, keep safe, and above all, keep donating. Bye for now.